even okay well welcome here I am making their pumpkin cinnamon sugar brownies and in I've already got part of it done so um, I'm going to be using our brand new mini fluted pan it is our six fluted wells and look at the back of this can't you just see displaying this in your kitchen it's beautiful we have a large fluted pan that's one one big fluted pan that's like this too and also um, many pie pans now this is new technology and I'm not even going to um, but flour it or butter it or put anything in there and we're gonna when it's done it should pop right out so awesome all right I've got my large batter bowl and in here I've got some flour and brown sugar and a little salt and I have to put baking powder in here and um, Let's see, I only have my half teaspoon measure, but it calls for a teaspoon of baking powder. There's half a teaspoon and a whole teaspoon. This little flat side here, you know, this is for measuring and flattening out the measurement there. So now stir that in a little bit to my mixture. That's my dry ingredients in the large batter bowl. And now in my small batter bowl. I use these all the time. You know the two quart and the one quart. So I've got some melted butter already. I am going to add half a cup of milk. I've got whole milk here and this is our easy read measuring cup. Awesome to measure your liquids. And now the recipe calls for pumpkin pie puree which I have never heard of. I know what pumpkin puree is, but my store didn't have it. Um, but I've got solid pack pumpkin. So if you do not have this can opener, actually it comes in white, but I have the blue one from a few years ago, um, you need it. Especially because we just went through that hurricane and we all needed a, a non-electric can opener. So take a look how you use it. You put it like this on the can, you give it a twist, once it attaches and connects, that's how you know. You can pick it up and you twist it. All right. And I just heard it. Okay, so to release it, you just flip it back a little bit. There we go. Now look here. Look at this little bird beak. Can you see that? I call it little Pac-Man. Who, who's old enough to remember Pac-Man? Okay. Showing my age. You just lift the can up comes right off. No sharp edges. You need one. At least one. Okay. And we need how much pumpkin? We need only a quarter of a cup. Okay. Measure all cups. This is the small one, the mini one. We have the two cup and we have the petite also. It measures liquids on this blue side and here the red side measures all kinds of solids. Like I'm gonna put the pumpkin in here. Put your peanut butter, your caro syrup, even brown sugar you can put in here. Anything you want to make sure you get all of. And so I only need a quarter cup, so I'm pushing this down to a quarter cup. And I will use my mini mix and scrubber. All right. Is that it, a quarter cup? It is. Not too much, but it'll pack the flavor. Okay, that looks good. Now, look at the beauty of this. So I've got my wet ingredients separate. So can we see this? It's going all in. Look at that. I didn't even have to scrape it off. It all came off. I think I have enough to make this recipe several times over. Or maybe some pumpkin spice latte in my new ice, uh, by, not my new, but my whipped cream maker. Awesome recipe. If you have the whipped cream maker, send me a link, uh, send me a request and I'll send you that recipe. All right, so I'm just going to whisk this together. Um, so unsalted butter. Actually, I didn't have unsalted, so I cut down on the salt and the dry ingredients. I'm making, I'm owning this recipe. So, all right. And then we're going to add, okay, so this is a little confusing the way this person, has, the blogger has written this recipe. She's got the traditional recipe and there's a vegan version, but they're together, they're together, I have to scroll down now, um, past the vegan instructions, okay, because I'm doing the traditional. 
So, all right. Okay, we're going to fold. It says gently. I don't usually do things too gently. Fold the wet into the dry. Making sure I get it all. Actually, I'm going to switch to my other mix and scraper. I mean, my other scraper. All right. One good thing, good thing about these scrapers, you get it all. Okay. This is a classic scraper. You know, I got the orange one, but it comes in white because they last forever. This is from, I don't know how many years ago. We sold it for a time in these this color. So I'm folding. If you don't know about folding, you got to fold it up, pick it down, fold it up. All right. And there goes the recipe again. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps... I have a very old iPad. Almost, well, it's pretty old. It still works. All right. Got my oven already preheated. Okay, now that calls for a donut pan, but this mini fluted pan is going to do the trick. It's going to... And then, once I put it in there, we're going to bake it for... I'm going to use my large scoop. We're going to bake it for at 350 for, I think, 11 to about 11 minutes. Looking at the vegan instructions again, I'll find it. Okay. So, loading up my pan. This is just one of the new products. And you know what? We have these adorable emoji cookie cutters that came out just for Halloween. They're only available September and um October and then beginning in November we have Christmas or holiday um, I'm putting too much in I can tell you already um, holiday cookie cutters that I earned today so I just got them you know I love my job do you work in a job that they send you freebies just for doing your job hey Michelle <laughs> I'm not, this is my, actually my first video, uh, like I said, since my fail of a few months ago. So, okay, what I'm going to do is even these out in the pan. You can see now, but I've got a well that's sort of empty, so um, I have to, the next time I'll use the medium scoop, you too can be a Pamper Chef consultant. If I can do this, anybody can. Okay. So I'm going to bake it, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the finished product. So what I'm going to do after this is make a cinnamon sugar. I'm going to melt, uh, dip these in the finished product in melted butter and roll it in the cinnamon sugar, and then I'll post a picture. And they're not going to get eaten it tonight because I'm taking them to Bible study tomorrow morning. So, all right, thank you so much. See you later.